she does that every time she plays for Canada. That's the exciting thing. It's not like she just brings it in certain games. I mean, look, she's, uh, I'm not frightened to say it, she's the Sinclair of, of defenders. She's that good. And, uh, we'll find some areas to keep working on, won't we? Yeah. But I mean, she's got the chance to be the best in the world in her position. That's, that's a reality. I mean, she kept. It's the second time, third time she's done that to Abby Wombach. Abby Wombach scored 200 goals in her career plus. And uh, Kanishi Buchanan was, was a better player tonight. So I'm really proud of her. But I've also got to just mention that, that back line. I mean, we had an under, nine, under 20 alongside her, Rebecca Quinn, our first full cap for Canada. And 17-year-old uh, Suri Ecker alongside her. So the future was out there tonight. And this is the team that will be in the Women's 20 World Cup in about a month's time. Your thoughts generally on the way your team played tonight? Well, disappointed, I've got to say. You know, you're one up against the number one team in the world with 15 minutes to go. You know, I'm not going to be standing here and clapping and whooping. You know, we should win them games. But we had a great chance to, you know, topple the US tonight. That would have been a hell of a step in our confidence and taking the team forward. But, you know, all in all, I think they, they left everything out there, and that's, that's all we ask of them girls every time they play. Uh, they're an honest group, and, and they did everything they could. And I, I keep saying this, the future was on show tonight. You know, we brought a 16-year-old on who looked comfortable. We had you know, youngsters on from the start. So this team's only going to get better. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm happy, obviously, but I don't want to get too happy because we should have won that. Was this a plan, John, for the back end, or was this a test? Like, is this where you want to go forward the coming year with those players, or was this a test? Well, it was a, it was a bit of a test. You know, we, we recognized, you know, where we're strong in our team and, and where we've had to strengthen. And, you know, the young players of, you know, Andrew Oliveri and Bev Priestman have done a wonderful job developing these players to come into the national team now. So they, they come in wanting to play the game. You see that they're not, you know, going long under pressure. You watch her touch, you watch... Rebecca's touch, they actually look to play. They're not your traditional centre back that will head down and send it 40 yards up the pitch. And that's the exciting thing for me. It's part of the DNA we want to shift in Canada, and these girls are leading it. Of all the games you've played against the US, how would you rank this one? I think right up there. Right up there. I mean, I think we frustrated them for long periods, we threatened them in periods as well. So I would say, you know, compares with my first game in Kansas where we drew and, you know, that Olympic game. Um, you know, we got Tancredi back on the pitch tonight. And you can see, you know, when she's fit and she's starting in this team, uh, we're going to have a, a weapon that we've missed for the last two years. So it's coming together. It really is. Last question. How do you think Desiree Scott did tonight? Whoa. The destroyer. Hey. She absolutely destroyed tonight. You know, I'm proud of her. You imagine the pressure on her tonight. You know, in front of 27,000 Winnipeggers, all wanting her to do so well. And she's had all sorts of media to do. She's been phenomenal this week. She's met kids, she's done media, she's done everything she's asked to do. And she just stood up tonight and, and we said to her, look, stay true to yourself. Don't try and do anything different, just be you. And you know, in the last 10 minutes there, she made two tackles in a row and the crowd got behind her. Yeah, that's, that's what we wanted to see. She was wonderful. So we have one in the back. Do you want one too? Please. All right, go ahead. We'll back and then we'll come back. I think I'm good. Okay, well, go for it. The crowd and the atmosphere, could you talk about that? And how did Winnipeg acquit itself this week? Oh, they're outstanding. I mean, look, it's given us a taste of what's going to come in the Women's World Cup 2015. I think the country's going to get behind that tournament like nothing we've seen before. And the Winnipeg crowd were. They were phenomenal, eh? There, there was a time when the chant went, Let go, let's go Canada, and it was literally 27,000 people. And you could feel the energy. I mean, Kadisha said, we said, just suck in everything that crowd gives you and throw it back at the US, and they did. So uh, all credit to the crowd, and thank you very much, uh, everyone that came out to support us.